Hey everybody, it's me, and welcome back to my channel. So, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm actually standing. And the reason for that is because I recently had back problems. I don't know, I was fine. And then all of a sudden, I wasn't okay. And so, as those of you who've been following me on Twitter know, I've basically been unable to do anything staying in bed the entire day because really any kind of movement hurts. Um, I just woke up, so I was laying down for about eight or nine hours last night and laying down always helps relieve the pressure in my back, so I figured I would jump up before I did anything else and film this video before the pain really sets in. So um, last night I did manage to go see the Avengers Infinity War movie and I don't know how long you're supposed to wait until after, like, after a video to like leave reviews and um, like upload content like this, but I really felt like I needed to share this information with you guys because I have a hunch on where the next movie is going to go. I guess let's start with my basic review of the movie. I definitely think it was a, a really good movie, a lot of plot twists, and um, even for me, you know, it's super easy for me to tell where movies and stories are going. I was relatively incapable of predicting things. There were a few things that I did predict, uh, a few characters' deaths that I kind of knew was going to happen, but um, then other things like, I don't know, a lot of huge major plot twists, especially the ending at where it ended. Like, if this makes sense, I knew that what was going to happen, or that what happened was going to happen, but I didn't know that that was going to be the end. Um, I did know there was going to be a second movie, but I thought they would leave us with at least a little bit more hope. Um, that said, for the movie itself, I really do believe that the, the way things happened are the way they were supposed to happen. So without giving too much away, I want to tell you guys a, a few pieces of the, the movie that really spoke to me and told me which direction the movie was headed. Or I guess which direction the second movie is going to be headed. So my first inclination came when um, Doctor Strange said that he saw uh, 14 million 506 or something like that out possible outcomes for their little conflict with Thanos and only one where they win right so that was my first inkling that what's going to happen is going to look like they lose but in the end they're going to win then my my second inclination was again uh, this is still centered on Doctor Strange and Stark, um, and it's still happening on Titan where uh, Thanos is about ready to basically deliver the death blow to Tony Stark, Iron Man, and Doctor Strange says, wait, if you spare his life, I'll give you the Time Stone, right? And that was for everybody was like what is he doing but I thought about it and this is part of the only way for them to win and if you notice at the end Tony Stark is one of the people who makes it out basically he lives which tells me that he is a part of them winning and I think that Tony Stark has to be alive for the story to continue because the way that they're going to win is through his technology or through his ingenuity, something like that. Um, how long of a time frame that's going to take, I have no idea. Um, I predict that his fiance will be dead. I predict that uh, Loki and Gamora will both come back to life at the end of the next movie or somewhere in the middle of the next movie because they played pretty big parts in this movie alone like Loki not so much in this movie but in the storyline of getting Thanos here basically um, also uh, you guys remember Bucky right from from Captain America's timeline so he comes back as a good guy in this movie and he has a few, like, show up roles where he's just there, but he doesn't really do much. He says a few things. I have a feeling he's going to play a bigger part in the second half. So, um, those are my predictions for this movie. 
Um, I also think that because of the end credits, they said Thanos will return, it will be almost like... It'll be a movie focused on Thanos, but I think it's going to be a redemption movie for the people who lost people, particularly Thor, Star-Lord, um, and Captain America, and obviously Iron Man. Um, because not only do I think he's going to lose his fiance, I think that um, Peter Parker's death, Spidey's death, um, was pretty significant. The way that he died was very important. He dies slower than everybody else. He dies more panicking than everybody else. And I think that for um, Tony Stark, it's really going to resonate with him, with his character. Um, and also, I think that um, Rocket will really step up in the second film and become more selfless because of Groot's death. So that's my prediction for these movies, this movie, this upcoming movie, and why I think things are going the way they're going. Um, oh, also, I think it's going to be a redemption movie for, for um, Thor and Star-Lord because... Um, Star-Lord is basically the reason why Thanos was able to keep his gauntlet and um, continue on this path of destruction. Uh, and I think that it's going to be a redemption movie for Thor because if you notice he has this exchange with Rocket where he's, you know, He's got nothing left, left to lose. He is just in tears and and really almost like purposely going to fight Thanos to win or die. It's, it's, you know, and the chances are that he's going to die and it's more of like a suicide mission type thing. So I think that he's going to come out of that when he finds out that there's hope, but he's not going to be very hopeful at first. He's going to be very much like, it didn't work the first time, we're fucked, like they're, everybody's already dead, whatever. Cause you know, he lost everybody. I only saw the movie once, so I'm trying to like run through it in my head. Oh, and I guess, I guess in a way it'll be a redemption for Thanos as well. Because throughout the movie, we see that his cause like has, he, he has a good reason for it. You know, this idea of, of cutting out half the population in order to preserve the resources was born of his own dire situation on his own planet. So what I'm thinking is that uh, it might end up being one of those feel-good movies where the villain has a change of heart um, and doesn't die or has a change of heart and then dies or as he's dying, you know what I mean? So it'll be kind of like that for him too. Or maybe not, maybe it's not in his character's motivation to, uh, to ever change his perspective on this. Maybe that's his his only focus, but I feel like that would make him a a, pr a pretty two-dimensional character, if that were the case. I feel like Gamora, when they bring her back, is gonna have like a few, a few extra issues. Um, I'm, I'm surprised that, I mean, she played a pretty big role in this movie, don't get me wrong, but I'm just surprised that she's not played major roles in pushing the plot along. I think that this is their their chance to use her as a reason for characters to do things as a motivation. But I really would like to see like a movie where it's mainly Gamora, like if that makes sense. Um, because I think she's a really cool character. I think that she's got a really cool history. We learned a lot about her in um, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2, but, you know, the, the main character in those was still um, Star-Lord, who I love, don't get me wrong, but, you know, I want her character to be more. And same thing with Rocket, um, I, you know, cause he, we still don't know a lot, a lot about him, we know some basics. So yeah, um, those are things that I would like to see in the next, the upcoming movies. Um, and yeah, I know I'm not a movie critic, but uh, this is kind of where I see things headed and I tend to be right about stuff like this. I talked to my person about it last night at the end of the premiere and he said that I should probably put this out there so, you know, people can 
can see what I'm thinking. Um, I feel like decades of reading and writing <laughs> uh, fictional stories has kind of helped me be able to perceive where people are going to take things. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at. I'm by no means a, like a, a vetted movie critic or anything like that. So yeah, um, stay tuned for my next uh, video to kind of talk about what's going on with my back. I know you guys don't really probably don't care about that, but um, that's kind of what I'm going to talk about next in my next video. Um, and also I want to tell you guys that I will be doing um, the Las Vegas Amazing Comic Con or Amazing Las Vegas Comic Con. I don't remember exactly the order of the words, but um, I will be doing a cosplay with my person and his cosplay groups group um, for that Comic Con. So I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to be Star Lord, which is great. A tad frustrating because he's kind of the reason why Thanos won per se, um, but I have a feeling people are going to love him anyway. I'm hoping to meet some really hot Gamoras. Uh, <laughs> maybe I might slightly be into that whole alien thing. Uh, um, so yeah, uh, that's that's that. So if you guys do end up being there, um, of course, you know, pictures and all that sort of fun stuff. Uh, it might be hard to spot me because I will have a mustache on and I'm kind of pumped for that. But yeah, um, I look forward to it. I, I hope you guys are having a great, you know, couple of weeks. I'm sorry that I've been so sporadic lately with these videos. It's just been a matter of um, handling my pain, <laughs> managing myself in a way that um, I'm able to function without hurting too much. So that was why I jumped up. And as soon as I got up, I filmed this video. I didn't even shower. I'm like fresh ruled out of bed. Um, more on that in the next video. I love you guys very much. Um, oh, just uh, comment. Are you as bummed out as I am that the Hulk just didn't freaking happen in this in this movie? Like they advertised him in the trailers. He's in the pictures on like on the movie posters at the theater as the Hulk and he that didn't he never came out like how bummed are you guys it was a lie I feel like it was a lie <laughs> um comment about you know that if you like this video I don't know if you maybe want to see more like this um just like share with your friends um uh, I would really like to increase the visibility of my channel at some point, somehow. I know that YouTube is silencing a lot of LGBTQ, particularly trans, videos. Um, it's been happening a lot to some of my favorite trans um, posters like uh, Steph, like Chase, like Ty. Um, so, you know, just increase visibility, that's the important part. Really get these videos out there so that way um, we can, we can, you know, continue to be visible, not be, not be, uh, silenced by, by YouTube, so. I love you guys very much, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.